I just read a comment by Raw Bacon where he mentioned having to deal with somebody driving through a, a doorway in a factory and knocking out the top lentil beams and nearly taking the roof down. And he describes it much better than I'm doing here. But in any case, it reminded me of another story yet again. Now, this was a building that I wasn't responsible for. I worked there, but I was an engineer writing work instructions. I had nothing to do with the building. Thank heavens. In any case, I had just left for the day, and this happened. Somebody was driving through a doorway, and they had the load lifted up so they could look underneath it. Why fork truck drivers think that's the right thing to do, I have no idea. It puts the center of gravity way up in the air, and it makes it so the fork truck tips over easily. Also, you can't see what's going to hit the top of the load. So unless you've got a spotter and somebody really good at it, you never, ever raise the load up and drive down the road or down the hallway or the aisleway, especially through a doorway. In any case, this was the old uh, GM plant on North Larch in Lansing, and they had built one heck of a big building. Uh, it looked like it was made in the 50s because it had that uh, long series of tent-shaped roofs with windows in them, and it was an old-style building. And they'd put in a water system to, for the sprinklers. Big lines, like 8, 10-inch uh, mains going through the plant. Well, kind of like metal powder components, guy was driving through the doorway, had the load up in the air, ran right into a 6-inch line. Now, water lines for sprinklers don't have shutoffs, except where you can get a handle on it, you have to take a lock off, put a handle on it, and shut it off, because they don't want you to be able to shut off sprinklers. They want those sprinklers to run as long as they need to run. So, when they pop that six inch line, it was pumping out water, and I mean Olympic pool size water fill in the building, and it's just going all over the place. Now, my desk was in the front office, and the front office was three inches deep in water. When I came in the next day, they still had the fans in there from the water recovery company that came in and uh, <laughs> swept all the water out of the building, uh, went through and cleaned everything up and dried everything out. But my chair was wet. <laughs> not, not the seat of the chair, but the bottom of the chair was still wet. And the floor was, uh, you know, vinyl tiles, so it was kind of squishy. That was an interesting thing. I'm glad I didn't see it. It would have been fun to see it. It would have been interesting to see it. But I don't want to be in the, in the way of a three-inch wave running through a building that, that big. That's a lot of water to deal with. So, yeah. Raw bacon, I understand what you're talking about. I've not seen that particular thing done. I've come close, but nothing where they took out the entire wall. Stuck forks through them? Yep. Hit the uh, main building beams? Yep. Had uh, people run into uh, other people on fork trucks like they're playing uh, uh, bumper cars? Yep. But never had one take out anything that threatened to take down the roof. So you get the prize for today.